Okay, I'm going to do a test of this opto isolator I've got in this box. This is like a filament run out I've been experimenting with this box sensor for 3D printer. So there's the helps if I put the light on, there's the opto isolator basically. I do do a Unboxing and unpacking of these. Get six in a pack. Good price. Three wires on. You've got, let's have a look. You've got like one with dashes on quite, sorry, one with dots on quite close together. You've got one in the middle there with dashes and dots on. And then you've got one with dots on where the dots are far apart. Okay, so the close dots is positive volts. It does have a V, S and G on the board. So there. The one with the close dots on is like positive. The signal is dashed and dots and the wider spaced dots, why they've done it like that, I don't know, is ground. Okay. Now I've actually got this almost jumped into a 5 volt ATX. Well, there's an ATX power supply here. And I've got these So it was interrupted by a phone call there. Uh, so anyway, I've got these, like going through these, well, almost jumper cables here, going to the ATX, going to five volts. Okay, just take my word for that. That is wired up, okay. Right, I'm going to turn the power on. Can we see this meter? Let me, this on its stand. So it's always shot, isn't it? Um, you don't really need to see the ATX. Um, just let me check this a bit. Okay, I think I think we can see the numbers on the meter now. I won't be really using this that much. I just want to try to show you. Oh, when I put the power on, there is an LED on here. You'll see. Come on. Yeah. No power here because I haven't really got the negative wire connected up. So connect the oops. I connect the negative wire up. You can see we're getting a few millivolts there. Now these really are for logic gates and such like so they're not you know thing. So when the light's on we get no power. And when I put something there to break the, the beam, infrared it is, we're getting 4.5 volts there. We do get a bit of voltage drop because of you know diodes and LEDs and such like. These are infrared. So the light goes out when I put something between the opto isolator, the emitter and the detector. I couldn't figure out what the D was actually, but is detector. So we have a light, like a light beam going out. So you can see that's working. Can you see that number yet? As I say, we lose a little bit of voltage there. 
quite quite quick at responding I think but what I wanted to show you I have this other part here okay and I was saying I was going to use this as a filament detector but what I'm going to do that's about two and a half three millimeters thick there just put that over there here we aren't faking this it does dim a bit the light but we're still getting 2.9 volts I mean that could possibly be enough to trigger a logic gate I don't know let me try this with can I get that over there again we're dimming a bit we're losing a and you might see that the light does dim a bit when I do that but basically it doesn't go well as good as down to zero volts see there we've only got millivolts there say about 400 millivolts nothing really to speak of so that is even with quite thickish this is ABS see the colour there this glow in the dark not that you can see it here because it's not dark but it will glow in the dark this stuff let me try putting it over this other one over that way just the same so it, passing filament through here obviously might not work depending on the colour of the filament bowl. and another issue was that this is a form by two millimetre board and tube clear I've got some clear stuff specifically for this job let me I'll just disconnect this because we can just go by the light well, that it's still get it's getting a signal thing this will not fit in between this gap here the tube but what I did discover is it, it is possible to remove this plastic thing you might be able to wiggle it off or just get a screwdriver say under the edge and gradually be, being careful because there are LEDs here let me turn the power off should have the power off when you're doing this it's only 5 volts I know but I'm just trying to wedge this the point of this screwdriver and gradually you might say coming up I'll keep, try and keep it level if you're doing this because it's two LEDs so I'm putting it under each side and twisting the screwdriver to gradually pull it up a bit can I grab that yes and I'm just rocking it a bit as I pull it out so then we've got the plastic part which basically ha has two very sort of narrow slots in it one for the emitter one for the detector there's your two sort of LED units there now with this the advantage of doing that is that this will easily fit between the detector and the emitter there the tube because what I wanted to have is all is basically a boarding tube let me get a bit longer piece. A boarding tube going from say your spool going to the feeding mechanism with the filament going through it and if the filament breaks obviously that would probably let more light through and it would be able to detect that when the filament's there to a certain extent it will be covered over and be able to detect that that was the basic concept of this filament feed out sort of box thing I was trying to do but because of the plastic almost letting light through for one thing it hasn't worked out or be too unreliable so let me turn the power on and we get the LED on show you it still works it's gone a little bit dim there I can just see the light on that's probably because I've got this big LED shining on it so it, this one thing about having the plastic part on it does cut out an awful lot of outside light basically 
and you that's black plastic okay. well, if I put that in between it has no on well in in and out it doesn't have any impact on the light let me pour a bit of this blue filament I've only got a bit gold spare here if I can get this in there one thing about having a clear tube like this I do talk about this in my other video is that you can see the video uh, filament inside it you can see the color of the filament very useful I think if you've got a multicolored printer I'll move that in and out and you'll probably see the LED is just staying lit there, no impact whatsoever. Doesn't matter. I'll try to move it once, like leave the uh, emitter, which you would think it would like spread out more, like make a bigger shadow. But I can't, I've had no impact there. Now let's try some black filament in there. You might. I think, oh well, this is 1.75, so it's thin, but does this have an impact? No, not really, doesn't matter. It's almost like that uh, the, the plastic is transparent to the filament of like that. That's hardly having any impact now. Oh yeah, this is when I do that side, it seems to me. Oh no, because I've got a gap there. I'm putting that in and out on it. And I was thinking of trying to be a tape round. You see that? That's just ins insulation tape. But yes, that does have an impact. So that cuts out the, the light travelling. So that signals it. So... That's a bit of a look at this up the way isolator. You can pop this back on. Now there is a letter D and E on here and it's so that's the emitter. This is the detector, I presume D means it's got an arrow going that way. And it has an E and D on the sort of embossed on the uh, plastic thing. So put it on the correct way around. Make sure it's lined up. See that's cutting out the light a bit there as it goes on. And then line up the two holes and that's back to as it was. So that's a bit about this optical end stop I was trying to develop. And one without a break. So the filament would go you know, no no like gap in the tube, the filament would continue on, probably good for flexible filament, but it will not work. As you've seen there, it does not sense that filament.